Welcome, welcome back to the Information Week in the News Desk. We are live at Interop in Las Vegas, and I'm Sarah Peters. Now, next up, I would like to introduce Eric Hanselman, Chief Analyst at 451 Research. Eric is our track chair for the SDN track here at Interop. Eric, thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure, Sarah. You are our last guest here at the Interop, the Information Week News Desk, so Thank you. You better be good. We're ending with a bang. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, let's let's not count our chickens before they're hatched. All right, you know. All right, I'll, I'll let's, take that. Let's see. Let's see. You, okay. I'm going to give you a shot. Okay. Um, now you're the track chair for the for SDN. So yeah. uh, tell us. I, I have heard SDN defined in a lot of different ways. Where do you think that we are at with? adoption of SDN right now, and, and how, how are we defining it today on May 4th in 2016? Well, the, the, the 4th is with us. I was just going to say, I didn't even not realize. May the 4th be not, with not you. Not so much on SDN. <laughs> so it, it, you actually, you, you point out what is one of the key issues around SDN as something that is tremendously popular, uh, of great interest, uh, and seriously overhyped. Um, mm. But you know, that's, that's been something that we've been working through for a number of years in terms of where SDN is and where it's gotten us to. Uh, I think one of the things that, that is differentiating about where we've gotten to in the last year in some odd I is that in fact there is, I think we've got a little more agreement about what's software-defined networking broadly. Uh, and more importantly, what it can do, what it can't do, uh, and its sort of capabilities. Uh, and, and really, how we deliver real useful work out of it. Um, if we look at adoption, it's still early days. Uh, if we think about real, hardcore, software-defined networking where we're dynamically allocating network resources in production environments, um, and we do a lot of demand-side research, uh, we do a lot of work with enterprises big and small in terms of sort of where they are. Um, those numbers and a lot of that study data are, are still in the low double digits. You know, we're starting to move up into that sort of plus 10% if we look at, you know, depending upon what that particular demographic looks like. Uh, if we look at awareness and an understanding of what those capabilities are, uh, there's, there's a lot of aspirational interest in being able to make networks more dynamic. Uh, it's something when we think about what the process of delivering IT service capabilities is composed of and sort of what those, what's limiting growth and capability and the wonderful term agility today. <laughs> um, it, a lot of that is, is that underpinning interconnection capability, the network that's underneath it. Uh, and that still winds up being a limiting factor. Uh, a lot of that I think is due to the fact that Traditionally, we haven't really looked at networks as being flexible. They have to be reliable. You know, unlike compute, you've really got this inversion of concerns. Compute, you've got a ton of instances that you're doing a relatively small amount of work to, but it's all distributed among those individual instances. The network, you're doing one particular thing that affects a whole set of different pieces. Yeah. So you, you blow away one compute instance, well, not a problem. You blow away one network, a very big problem. So there's a natural reluctance to get towards automation and more dynamic provisioning and control. Uh, but uh, the reality is, is that this really is that final point uh, of what we're doing uh, in terms of making IT and IT resources uh, more flexible, more capable, and, and really delivering a lot on a lot of the promise that we really expected. Uh, well, now, with all of these these promises, I think a lot of CIOs that I've been talking to are excited, they want to get into the SDN thing, they're talking not just about software-defined networking, but software-defined everything else. They don't always know where to start. So if you were going to give everybody one piece of advice, how, what would, what would that piece of advice be? What's step one? Get visibility. Okay. I think the biggest piece right now. <laughs> it's easier it's said than done. Isn't well, it? It, it's it's with any technology transition. Yeah. You know, the changing part is is risky, but the understanding about what that technology is 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 something that you can do with a much more lightweight, lower risk approach. So get it to a point at which you really know what your network connectivity is is built around. 
Um, and there's a lot that you can do today in terms of making sure that the instrumentation for those environments is there. Make sure that you've got visibility into whether or not it happens to be uh, the individual connectivity of the paths, the switches. That's that precursor to configuration control. You know, getting good at making the config itself accessible is okay, but it's that first step of now being able to dynamically manage configuration and the connectivity associated with it. So. Whew. Well, Eric, thank you so much for being here today, and it's a pleasure talking to you as always, and everybody, check out that SDN track. If Eric had anything to do with it, I guarantee you it's good stuff. Eric Hanselman, 451, hang tight. We have a little bit more coming from the news desk after the break.